Hello Capricorn, welcome to Cupid Empress 1111. Once more, I'm here to do your love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, it may resonate, it may not resonate for everybody. So please, whatever doesn't resonate, it's okay. Just let it out to the universe, nothing happens, okay? Um, also guys, I am available for private readings. If you guys do desire a private reading, um, definitely will be in my description down below. Also, um... What else? Um, well, also want to say happy Halloween. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. All of you that have subscribed and have put comments, I love them all. I read them all. I thank you immensely for everything. Do not forget to hit like, subscribe. Very important. That will help me grow my channel. And very grateful to you always, okay? So let's begin with your reading, Capricorn. Um, we are starting with your Moonology card. The one that came out is a win-win outcome is forecast, okay? This is a uh, full moon in Libra. You may be dealing with the Libra very highly here. We have number 34. 34 may be significant. A voyage. You already have all the answers. So you guys may be going on a voyage of some kind, a trip of some kind. Um, maybe you guys are embarking in a new study. Maybe you guys are moving to another state, perhaps, maybe. Um, or traveling do to work some kind some kind of uh endeavor you know is what i'm is what i'm kind of feeling okay perhaps maybe for learning could also be for learning maybe visiting a different country that can also be um it as well okay so let's begin with your reading the first card out of the deck that we got this is the hocus pocus we got the tower the tower was clarified the lovers this is gemini energy temperance reversed and we have the three of pentacles so this was definitely a uh, beginning of a relationship of some kind of relationship that i strongly feel you guys met through work um endeavor and um you put work in it however it did not flourish okay um the second card out of the deck um clarifying that was again the three of pentacles from the hocus pocus desk I mean, deck. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, and we have the page of lightning. That's the page of swords. Again, we got the ace of swords. Clarifying truth. Situation that, you know, seven of wands wanting to move forward. However, we have the hierophant reverse and the star reverse. So something that didn't go long term. Something that also was not approached the correct way. And I believe there was, that's why there was justice here that took place. However, there was a Wheel of Fortune. Um, actually, actually, we have the Moon. And clarifying the Moon, I apologize, was the Magician. That is Gemini and Virgo energy. Could be dealing with that. Um, we have the Two of Wands. So an, an, a, a thought of wanting, having all the tools to be able to move forward. And then here we have the Wheel of Fortune here with changes coming in. So... There could be changes coming in to your favor with this particular person. This was all a very base. Yes, it was an offer of love, but it was the Knight of Wands. It was this combination here for me is all like a love offer with a lot of like lust and just sexual. It was it was just very sexual attraction. Um, what there what there was here, okay. Um, all right, so we have Temperance coming in. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. On clarifying that we have the Five of Pentacles, somebody was left out in the cold due to this situation. Okay, they are wanting to come in and work on this situation now with you. The Nine of Wands, they are wanting to still move forward and fight for this. Um, they are in their head a lot. There's lack of clarity. They can't see their their steps moving forward, or you feel lack of clarity from them. We have the King of Pentacles here. This could very well, the King of Pentacles, you can either be dealing with the Taurus or this can very well be you, okay? We do have the Empress. The Empress is Taurus Libra energy. You could be dealing with a Libra very well because it's the Justice card is here. Also, your Monology card says Full Moon in Libra. That can also have been a Libra energy here. We have a Nine of Swords. We have a Four of Swords and we have Reversed and we have the World. So, you guys... um. There, you guys are in your head, you know, could be, or this person could have anxiety, you know, going on. Um, 
they don't want they they want to reverse this four a four of uh, swords here. They don't want to be away anymore. And you know the world, you know, meaning they want the world with you. They want to come in. They want to be able to start a new cycle with you. Okay, uh, move forward with it. You know, we have the three of cups reunion. And then suspension. This is this is the um, hangman in this deck. Okay, so hangman was clarified by again the queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, and the Aquarius energy here, with the page of swords again same energy. You know swords air energy, and then we have the five. I'm sorry, the five of swords where there was a conflict. This person is spying on you, but uh, this this person. Um, I don't know, this person got cut off or whether you cut this person off or this person cut you off. Or, I don't, I don't know, you can have air in your chart too and also be representing this where, you know, there was cut off. But take it how it resonates, okay? Um, you, you could reverse the roles. If this reading applies, reversed. Because sometimes that happens, okay? Because of the energies. Um, but definitely somebody did cut somebody off, but they do want to come in and work on this relationship, okay? Um, and I, I think, I do feel like it is mutual. I feel like you both do. You both want to. All right? We have the golden mirror here. Uh, Self-absorbed narcissist person, okay? You could have been dealing with somebody or this person may have been that way. There is going to be a phone call with the love call here. Hands on, hands on cards. Um, this is a... Time to take chances, risk, you know, move forward with it. And this person may also want to take risk and move forward with it. There is somebody wearing a mask in this relationship, okay? Perhaps maybe not showing feelings, you know, but there is a false mask here. And the hammer is, you know, sabotage, rebuilding, you know, in the relationship. You know, I definitely do see the energy of that here, okay, um, Capricorn. So... Let's see the letters of person of interest. Letter K. This could be um, the first initial, middle, last of their name. Could also signify a city. Could also signify a place you guys went together. First date, whatever. Where you guys met, you know. Letter A. Letter A. G R and one more my Capricorns U letter U a lot of uh, signs have gotten that letter U so an, an unusual uh, letter to get for a, a name um, but anyway it's K A G R U okay those are your letters um, of your special person or a special place or whatever that can possibly resonate for you okay i wish you all the best happy halloween guys thank you for tapping in also please hit like share subscribe for me also that my channel can grow and i can be back here i will see you guys next time and take care bye bye